The last chance for the sprinters to show off their wares at the Abu Dhabi Tour. Stage three, the Nation Towers, the shortest of the sprinter stages, just 133 kilometers in and around the Abu Dhabi Corniche. The flag dropped and the attacks started, animated in part by Pierre Hollande from EF Education First Draypack. Eventually, he did make the selection only after 20 kilometers or so of racing. Four men in the breakaway. Marco Maranese from Bardiani CSF, Sergei Fierzanov from Gazprom Rusvelo, Pierre Hollande, and Sam Brandt, the young British rider from Team Novo Nordisk. It was Fierzanov who went for a long-range attack at the first intermediate sprint, but he was caught and passed by the young Italian Marco Maranese, who picked up eight points in the intermediate sprints classification. Now, that signalled a renewed effort from Gazprom Rusvelo, who tried to bring it all back, protecting the black jersey of Nikolai Trusov, a teammate of Alexander Fierzanov or Sergei Fierzanov. And they brought the whole race back together, and it looked like Bardiani CSF and Gazprom Rusvelo then would contest the second intermediate sprint, but they found themselves passed by Elia Viviani himself, the race leader, sprinting for bonus seconds at the second and final intermediate sprint of the day, and getting to the line ahead of Nicola Bonifacio from Bahrain Merida, picking up significantly a three-second time bonus. Then, Crosswinds just uh, played havoc with the race, at least temporarily, blasting a hole in the middle of the race and forcing Alexander Kristoff, among others, to crash on a roundabout. He got back on, though, and was fortunate that the race calmed down just at the point when he made the junction back into the peloton. Wariness, though, in the pack as the winds blew. It was a question of how hard and in which direction. Aiming for a switch of direction at 20 kilometers, but in the final analysis, it stayed together and the crosswinds were not exploitable for any of the teams as they passed the Louvre, and headed for the Corniche in Abu Dhabi and to a big bunch sprint finish. Elia Viviani had his lead out man in place, but they were all ganging up behind him. Most notably, Caleb Ewan, as his lead out man, Luca Mezgetz, headed them round with a few hundred meters to go. Mezgetz still on the front, and then Zabatini was about to unleash the red jersey of Viviani, but it was Caleb Ewan who hit the front first with Rudy Barbier on his wheel. Pascal Ackerman from Bora Hansgrohe challenging, but look at Phil Bauhaus from Sunweb powering to the line and a late charge from Marcel Kittel. It was very close, but the winner was Phil Bauhaus, his first ever win in that kind of company in his second World Tour win, beating Marcel Kittel in a photo finish to the line with Pascal Ackerman in third place, making it a German 1-2-3. Elia Viviani, though, continues to hold on to the race lead, in part at least, due to the three seconds time bonus he picked up on the road. The overall standings going into the individual time trial, then, mean that Elia Viviani maintains his lead over all of the rest of the field.